And a short time ago, I caught up with the man who runs the world's biggest miner, Marius Kloppers. Marius Kloppers, thank you for joining me. Hi, Tiki. How are you? This bull market, we all know, is very complex. Um, and investors are no doubt looking at 2012, 2013. China, we were to you were talking about with the analyst briefing today, and all inventories are up, prices are down. It's a tough market now. Uh, do you see this sort of climate continuing? I think the, uh, the last bit of last year saw uh, our overall pricing complex come down. But the beauty of the BHP Billiton portfolio is that there's always one product that is in vogue, or as Paul Anderson put it, there's always one cylinder fi firing. Um, so I think that the more diversified players like ourselves are going to do well here. Ironically, we probably think that China is set to grow for the long run. That's, that's probably not our biggest concern. So the next year or so, though, you, you, you'd be happy to deal with the lower prices that exi exist now, because you've gone to spot, obviously. Look, pro profitability has been very good for us and yes. still is very good. Iron ore prices, particularly given the low freight rates that prevail. What that about the competition on, on the supply side? Because I noticed that Vale got into a bit of strife recently with those really big ships that they were trying to pull over, and the Chinese are now saying that they're too big for their harbours. That must have created a bit of a smile around your, your uh, shop. Well, I mean, we all always happy about relative competitive dynamics and certainly um, you know that that would have reset the game a little bit so the playing field remains even there it's a, it's a wonderful non-tariff barrier isn't it well I I wouldn't say that I I do think that it illustrates that when you want to make a change you better make sure that all of the parties are looped into that change indeed your base case talks about a downside risk being Europe um, some sort of external shock yeah. is that downside risk in your view growing because people are talking more and more about a Greek default yeah. I think we probably reached the high point of uh, worry about that just before Christmas since then you've seen some easing some different funding mechanisms and I think on on balance of consensus people probably feel a little less worried now than they did just before Christmas. Well, that's good to hear. Industrial relations here in Australia, um, I saw you stealing yourself to respond at the analyst briefing. Um, the Bowen Basin in particular, how is this going to play out? Because you can't do what Alan Joyce did with, with, with Qantas. Um, uh, you know, a strike is actually not going to, to create uh, major harm to the economy. We're looking at a, a real Mexican standoff here and a, and a very costly strike, aren't we? I think that in due course sense will prevail and, and, and issues will get resolved. We, we're probably not there yet. And as I said this morning, it would have been better if the range of issues that we had to talk about was a little bit more constrained to be only about benefits and pay. It so happens that there are more issues on the table and that, that makes it a little bit more but, difficult. But that's where, yes, you, you have really dug in, haven't, haven't you, on this issue of flexibility for, for management in particular? I think the important thing for us is we want to invest a lot of money. Mm. If we're going to invest a lot of money, we want to make sure that the reality that we're going to get in future is a known one. And therefore, probably we're not only thinking about current operations as we think about what work practices we want, we're probably also thinking about a bigger expanded business in future. Big decision for BHP Billington to enter the shale sector yes. in the United States. Uh, the gas price has tanked, I think, to, to a level which even surprised you when, when you moved in. Indeed. Are you still going to be aiming for that target of valuable liquids contributing 20% of uh, total US onshore production by 2015? Because you're investing an enormous amount, yeah. aren't you? In reality, probably what we're going to do is we're probably going to do a little less gas drilling and we're going to do more drilling on the oily side of that shale. What that probably means is that 20% of the barrels coming as oil, probably what we would hope to do is to revise that upwards over time, which means that the total amount of revenue that we will get from oil from the shale will probably be more than half in just a few years' time. Okay. The Glencore Extrata deal, Marius Klopp, as you said it's, it's not going to have much impact for, for you guys. Uh, but I suppose it does potentially put Anglo in place, looking quite cheap, maybe six and a half times. Do you see uh, if, if, if a merged Glencore Extrata then 
took on Anglo, the landscape really would change, wouldn't it? Look, I think um, you know, Mick and I have been obviously close friends and I've known them for a long time. They've got a big job ahead of them. Um, I'm sure they focused on on getting that done. What happens beyond what is already a big deal in our industry, it's probably a little difficult for me to speculate on. Even so, if people are speculating, it, it might actually cause um, even a Rio to, to look at Anglo in advance. I would, would you look at it or would be happy for, for Rio management to take their time looking Gosh, at it? Gosh, we, we've got a lot of options on the table. We've just spent $20 billion on, on shale. We've given CapEx guidance of another $20 billion this year. Um, I wouldn't say that we, we, we're super overly busy, but, but we've certainly got our work cut out for us over, over the next years. Finally, Marius Kloppers, Gina Reinhardt has made some big moves into the media, um, feeling that if she exerts some control there, she can get the message through for a number of issues uh, uh, that concern the mining side. Do you support what she's doing? I don't know Gina Reinhardt, the, the media operator. I know Gina Reinhardt, the miner, though, and I respect her as a miner. Anybody that has had the success that she's had deserves some accolades for the risks that she's taken in them, but in a, in a mining sense. I, I couldn't speculate on the other side. And I'm sure you have your own hotlines. Marius Kloppers, it's a delight to talk to you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Tiki. Thank you.